Hey guys, this is Ram again and in today's video I'm going to show you how cursors work and uh, this is a continuation video on Oracle PLSQL complete uh, tutorials so you can always go through my playlist and you can see other videos also so basically today's topic is on what is a cursor and how cursors work and how to use cursor in Oracle well uh, so before actually going let me just explain what is a cursor well, uh, whenever you are running any Oracle statements or DML statements, Oracle is going to create a context area that is a separate memory, you know, that holds data and uh, metadata of the currently running SQL statement. So when I say metadata, it means like how many rows processed and what is the currently processing entry and uh, whether the whether any records are affected or uh, whether it return any row so, so that kind of metadata and all it's it store it stores in the context area so what cursor does is cursor acts as a pointer to that context area so that you will get explicit control over the currently running sql statement so that's all about cursor well there is this so much else going on in cursor so as of now just think that you know cursor is cursor is just a pointer to the context area or uh, metadata of uh, currently running SQL statement all right so there are like uh, so whenever as I said whenever you are running a SQL statement uh, Oracle is going to implicitly create a cursor for you well if you want you can explicitly create cursors and you can get an extra control over that so let me show you how to uh, how to use cursors in Oracle PLSQL programmatically well, uh, the first thing, as you can see in bullet points, the first thing is you have to declare a cursor. And as I say, declaration should always go in declare block. So first thing, I'm just going to declare a cursor for a select statement. Right? Uh, the You have to use cursor class and you have to give a name for your cursor. Let's say, uh, simple cursor and you have to declare is or s and you have to write your sql statement let's say select store from student right so i have a student table here in that i have four rows with id name marks and result right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna declare a cursor and i'm gonna show you how to fetch these records via cursor well now that you have declared a cursor the next thing is uh, you have to know the life cycle of cursor well uh, the cursor life cycle starts with open statement so whenever you open a cursor its activity is going to start and the next thing is you can do all your activities like fetching the cursor you know uh, getting extra metadata through cursor attributes and at last you can close the cursor so once you close the cursor you cannot use any SQL, uh, cursor attributes or you can you cannot fetch anything and just like that before fetching you cannot do any activity so that's how it works you first you should open and you should do your activities and then you should close the cursor so th these are the three bulletin points and so let me just first open the cursor so you you will open a cursor with using open command and your cursor name all right so it's very simple you just have to open the cursor and as usual closing is also very simple you just have to use close and your cursor name right now so in the middle you can do your activities so let me just show you how you can access data Alright, so you will access data using fetch, fetch, and you can use your cursor, and you have to use into statement, and you have to specify like <coughs> to where it should insert into. So basically, it will uh, return a record for you. So based on your declaration here, so since it's a student table, it will uh, it will dump me a record for student table so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly create a record right let me just say uh, let me just say student record 
and I'm going to straight away use road type right right now what is going to do is it's, it's going to create an, a record for entire uh, entire table I mean entire row here so I don't need to explicitly create for ID name marks and all so it will dump me for entire row right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the student record and I'm just going to store the featured value from the cursor <coughs> So that's how the record works. You have open and you have fetched one single record into the cursor. So let me just quickly print that value. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just uh, fetching the record and I'm straight away printing it. So let me show you what happens when I run this program now. right as you can see it just printed 12 I mean it's just fetched one row but it hasn't fetched the remaining three rows well the thing because the fetch always fetch once currently running row or currently running bulk statement well uh, since you want to fetch all the rows what you can do is you can just dump another fetch statement like this and and it's going to return the second row for you well in a normal day-to-day -day scenario you, you can always use loop statement uh, to iterate until uh, all the records are fetched so le um, let me just quickly erase the second loop statement second fetch statement and what i can do is i can just loop this fetch statement until all the records are fetched all right so uh, if you are not familiar with this loops and all you can just check my previous video where i have explained uh, how looping works all right now the second thing is we have to specify an exit condition uh, where the loop should break and as I said in the f uh, in the beginning of the video you can use uh, cursor attributes to fetch metadata of the cursor so what I can say is I can just simply use an attribute called not found well there are few other attributes like found or not found and uh, there are few other attributes like row count so what it does it's uh, it's going to fetch uh, metadata of the currently running sql and not found is one of it uh, what it's going to does it's going to return true whenever all the records are processed or uh, or there is no record to process right so that's how it works now what I'm doing is I just converted this fit statement to a loop and uh, I just added extra when condition to exit whenever there's no record to process so that's how it works so now when I run this program it should fetch me all the rows all right as you can see it fetched four rows sorry it fetched four rows the first one is 12 14 16 17 which is similar to my table so that's how uh, you know like uh, cursor works as I said you can even get access to f extra attributes so one of that is row count you can even see how many records it processed so let me just take this simple cursor and you can always use row count right so I can see as you can see it displayed four here which means four records are processed so this is a brief introduction to cursor guys I have explained how cursors works and what is the purpose of cursor so in my next video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fetch records using for cursor you know in instead of uh, opening closing and all these cursor things you can straight away fetch the records using for cursor and i'm going to show you how to save your life in my next video so thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe us stay tuned